What's up guys, Bird Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're kind of doing something not very optimally. Right when the first update came out, we smashed like Dark Sea Land. We haven't really touched Light Sea Land at all with the light enemies, and we're going to try it out, but we're not like, going like all in on our Transcendent Hero setups here. Like we're still leaving just, I mean, we're leaving a lot of attack on the table by not like fully optimizing, and then we're also having our other Asmodel, our main Asmodel, Kind of being in the team again we're probably missing out about a two million attack by putting like v3 plus on these two heroes but for the time being i'm trying to see what we can do with just what we have and i don't know if it's going to work i don't know what's going to happen we're going to find out with a kind of sub optimal setup here um one thing i do need to check real quick uh da -da -da -da. what is your artifact probably not the play i feel like for him it's probably going to be like a crown or something means we got to go find some crowns <laughs> we gotta find some crowns for sure uh you could take a flag since you're just a ten wait what is this doing over here oh we're missing out on stats i knew it i was like wait a minute this doesn't look right uh tc lago let's give you i thought we had more light flags i was like wait a minute this doesn't feel right um sherlock doesn't need that crown so we can give the crown over to him we might run double crown i don't know we're just gonna grab all the crowns off of all of our heroes for now make sure there's no more light flags just floating around in the wrong faction completely it doesn't look like it so we got two of those set up fine that's good i think running him tanky is probably going to be the play maybe with like an attack hp stone or something i don't know we have precision crit damage crit i think what we have to do is run at least damage reduction on him as well of course we have a full tree and everything i wonder what his actually does Hold on. when an ally releases base tech or active skill summons the heavenly chariot oh yeah this is one where he like chases and everything at the end of the round every stack of revenge reduces all damage dealt for the enemy i mean that's kind of good that's actually kind of really good um and I think Melodic on you is probably still the way. I don't think we're going to really outspeed the enemies here. We have to. We'll try. I think we go with... Let's just put damage reduction on you as well. Let's see how this turns out. You know what we could do? We could just go full out offensive real quick. Let's see what these Melodic strings can do. Let's see what type of team we're even going to run as well. We could just put both of them in the back like i uh, can't put another asmodel up there right nope we can't do that and then we have a couple michelles one of them being like uh this one and then we probably have some five stars right yeah we have some five stars here we're obviously going to go with the phoenix and i think we're going to go with vulcan's core sounds like the best idea our eos is just in pure tenant mode here we do have enough speed right out of the gate to go so that's really good to see um Having his core, Vulcan's core as well, means more CC chances when our Asmodel attacks, which is good. Asmodel gets bonus healing, of course, whenever an ally dies, which gives him pretty good survivability here. <laughs> and Vulcan's just, like, taking over. But I do think we might need to run, like, a strong uh, Asmodel at some point. Actives on Vulcan round one, not exactly his bread and butter, but even his basic hits really hard. <laughs> the Warriors, not even close to being an issue here. Granted, we're in the very, very early. We're in 30. I don't know if this team's going to get to 35 just yet. Probably not. I mean, it really just comes down to speed because when we do get to the final battle, my goodness, Vulcan's just taking over here. And this, imagine, I mean, maybe it's better right now to have Vulcan have this Asmodel in the team with him, but that's a big hit right there. Hasmodel will get to go eventually, right? No, nope, we're just going to get chain CC'd. The speed is most definitely an issue. What do you got? 2273. You got 2238. Maybe we'll run everybody speedy for a while just to make sure they do get to go before the enemy. That's probably the best bet here. Just to ensure that we are getting the speed boost we need from everything. Give that a shot. I don't imagine many of these are going to be giving much difficulty once we do this. We should always outspeed the enemy. And yeah, you see you get that extra freeze right there. The stun is annoying. 
I don't think Asmodel's doing much for actual damage. I'm thinking I should probably put him in the front row even in this situation. Front row Asmodel tanky is probably the better play here. So let's just do that. We might as well get that going. Give him a crown. Let him have that. That's fine. Damage reduction. We still run him like offensive there. That should be good. Let's see how that turns out. 32. Again, should be pretty easy. Do something like that. I don't know if keeping the EOS alive longer would be good or bad, but a crown Asmodel is going to be a perfect front row tank. I love how Vulcan's basic just like one shots waves, even like once they revive and everything. They go from 50% HP to dead real quick. Vulcan getting CC'd. Yeah, we're already losing the speed battle here. Wow. I didn't realize we lose the speed battle that quickly. So really, it's just keeping our heroes alive at this point. Going for these speed enables and speed everything is actually worse for us. Although. Wait a minute. No, no, no. We could we could do this. We could actually do this. We could go for A and B's with a speed setup, and that could work. A and B's might be good enough because that's going to probably give us enough speed for at least one or two more difficulties where we should still outspeed the enemy, right? It means no actives round one, which always feels bad, but round two actives are technically better than round one actives for Vulcan if you're going those extra battles. And he gets the energy. Yeah, it's definitely better. <laughs> Speed is most likely key right here, just to make sure we're going before the enemies. But even on this boss wave, we're not, huh? Wow. I can't believe we're already... Oh, Asmodel. <laughs> wow, that was some damage from Asmodel. I was not expecting that. Man, I love this skin too. Some of you guys might be wondering why I'm not using the skin that has some attack on it. I'd rather use the attack skin as the tenant copy because this one just looks so much better in combat as well. Like you have to, oh, wait, he's broken. He's broken. What happened? What happened? He's on the enemy side of the, <laughs> he's on the enemy side of the battlefield. I guess that's a true tank for you right there. He just runs up into their face and says, all right, you're going to hit me and not the enemy. I don't think I even got a good... Did I get a good shot of that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Too bad. That was so cool. Man. Asmodel in Seal Land is actually insane if he can tank those hits. I mean, if speed's not working, we're better off going back to a crown or maybe even a... Um, maybe a fan? I don't know. I don't think fan is going to do it. Asmodel just keeps healing back up. Between these two heroes, it's actually a really good combo here. If only he could get an attack off. I don't know. That fan could mean a lot of healing in the in the form. Man. So, yeah, speed. Speed's already out the window. We can't do speed, so that's just hurting us. Um, fans? We could try a couple fans. I just don't know who have our fans right now. Uh, let's give you just, like, Demon Bell. Let's give... Geester, I don't even know why we have Geester on this count. I think it's just because his skin looks really cool, to be honest. Um, let's try fans on these heroes and see how they work out. And then might as well go back to the full attack mode. I do want to keep that damage reduction, though, because that damage reduction seems pretty good. Especially since once we lose out on... Attack HP might be a good way to go. On fan. Let's try that. Um... 33, let's see. This should be pretty good. I can't believe Asmodel is actually just crushing some of these waves. I mean, Asmodel was the way to get even to Sealand 30 pretty easy. He just does so much damage here, too. It's crazy. Vulcan just sits there and gets CC'd the entire battle. At least Asmodel is getting some hits in. It's going to come down to some stun RNG. That or we could run some control immunity. Oh, if he can get a good, if both these guys can get round two actives off, oh my goodness. Oh, Vulcan got a good one off though. I like staggering them. I mean, the fans seem like some decent healing overall, right? Like, it's kind of, eh, maybe crown's better. 
But I really like the all damage dealt that you can get from the fan. And the fan regenerates 30% of your HP as a shield every single round, which is nice. It does mean you're a little squishier when you lose the shield, though. And we kind of lose the shield quite often. Ooh, I love the freeze, though. I never noticed Andrea's Halloween skin actually throws like pumpkins out. That's cool. I've never paid attention to that before the animation. Clean up. Oh, we still got to clean them up one more time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know if I like the fans personally. I think crowns might give them better longevity. Although, honestly, the AMBs might be the best play still. AMBs usually do fall off, but when you have a ridiculously high amount of attack, it might work out. The other nice thing with our warriors here is they have a lot of crit damage reduction just built in between star spawn and our treasure train. So that's kind of cool. Getting sealed off feels really bad. Okay, damage there. We got good Andrea healing coming back in. I think next round, Asmo's hit might be very big. Clears most of it out. They got a little HP left. Vulcan can probably clear these guys out. The other thing is, I like. Wait, wait, what is, what is Asmodel doing? He's dancing all over this battlefield all over and over again. Oh, I don't know. Maybe A and B was still the better play here. Maybe put Eos in the back row. That was a really good active. Come on, clean them out. Oh, it's not enough damage. Maybe Vulcan with the crown is the mistake. Maybe we should keep Melodic on him so he gets like two actives in a row. Do you have a very healthy Asmo though? Was very healthy, correction. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, let's try going back to the good old Melodic Strings. Get that early rounds damage in. See how that turns out. I really want to get at least 34 done. I don't know if we can get to 35 just yet, but we'll see. Because that's like a good amount of burst right there. And then round two, he usually gets an active as well. No, not quite. Round three, he should if he survives. Luckily, Andre has got a little healing for him. Oh, wow, he still doesn't have... Uh-oh, that's bad, because they have actives coming in. Eesh. But that does mean Asmo is a big supercharged active. I just don't know if he can beat them a second time here. Because now all his allies are down. Oh, it feels so bad. So, so bad. I can't believe Asmo is just wiping waves, though. It's pretty cool to see. One nice thing about going against the light enemies is you, you have to worry about seal, which is bad, but you don't have to worry about energy drain like you do against the dark faction. <sighs> yeah, we just keep barely missing the active here, and then he dies. So maybe that's not the play. Maybe the A and Bs are still the better play here. Even on you. Even though we're not able to outspeed them, we at least still have that damage reduction from the AMB, which might be pretty significant, especially in tandem with the damage reduction we have from Imprints, and then, of course, the damage reduction from Asmodel's shield. Ooh, I don't know if I ever finished Asmodel's sublimations. That's something to probably look at. No, that's really bad for that Asmo. Holy cow, he's so squishy with that. Um, Did we actually finish this Asmo out? Okay, we did. Good, good, good. Um... To be honest, the fan felt the best, I think. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing. I will not let this end here. Let's put Eos in the back row. I think that lives, lets Eos live just a little bit longer. I don't like the fan either. Maybe Crown is the way for him. Yeah, Crown's definitely the way for him. I don't know. This is tricky to figure out exactly what artifacts are going to be best on each hero here. I wonder if they're giving us attribute reductions as well. Because the only CC they do... Well, these guys seem to only have sealing, right? They can only seal us off. Big active in round two from Vulcan, which is good. Big Asmodel active. It's not quite enough, though. That definitely gives him a lot of shield on the Vulcan. I do like the fan on the Vulcan. And there he goes. He just stands in the front row yet again. Jeez. 
we might need to just optimize this setup a little bit more and that's the downside you have to like regress heroes and stuff which means you lose a lot of rerolls on your stones for your tenants which is just the worst part about it Vulcan's just not getting enough damage in here for 34. I mean, there's another thing we could try. Like, we really could try it, and that is... We could change these things out and literally go for, like, a full tank-style mode. Like, we could just literally gear them full tank mode. 148 might be a little high. That might be a little high. Let's keep the uh, this to crit chance. Then as Medell, we can do the same. We can literally just change these to like armor, block. Oh, what's that? Uh, not same situation. A lot of block there. Don't need that much block. We can go to crit. We can build them a little bit tankier. See how that does. Maybe just lasting a couple extra rounds and more hits. I mean, armor is a huge damage reduction boost to our team. I mean, you see how little damage he takes when you put the armor way up there? Like, it looks like he barely took any damage now. Gets a good heal there, too. Definitely made the Asmodel tank here. Maybe that means we can run the Vulcan much more offensive. It has potential. It does feel kind of better. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I need to put crown on the Vulcan as well. So we can get through the first like three, four rounds pretty unscathed. Yeah, you can definitely feel the damage difference. It's definitely much lower when you drop your crit damage, potentially precision as well. Hmm. Is there a world where we want to use balance strike on both of them? We could. That actually might be the better play to guarantee us healing much more. I don't think we have too many opportunities where we, if we had 100% HP, I don't think we would go down to zero on either of them, right? Let's, let's watch this. Is there any way for us to go to zero HP here? Doesn't really, I mean, it's close on the Vulcan, but Vulcan's going to get a full heal. Asmodel's going to get a full heal. Ah, balance Strike might be the way. Tanky with Balance Strike seems pretty solid. It seems pretty solid so far. Yeah, okay, that went bad <laughs> real quick. All right, Asmo, I think, is safe to have on Bending Will. <laughs> Change my mind a little bit. Um... Probably need to keep the fan on him as well. Oh, come on, man. I want to figure out how to get past this. The light first wave, like the caster waves, are always the worst ones to deal with. Because Asmo heals with his active anyway. So it's really just his basic balance strike would help with, and it probably doesn't heal for that much anyway. Man, he went down again very early on. I think that armor node is really doing a lot. Maybe we just need to go back to glass cannon on Vulcan and let him be the tanky cleanup. That could work as well. It could. No, oh, that's not working out good. Um, Try him with crown. Like, I'm just going to all these different options to see what we can make work. Granted, this setup does seem like it got us the closest to actually finishing this out. That was pretty nice. Oh, we just need Asmo to do more damage now. Maybe we need like Attribute Reduction Purify instead of CC Purify. That could be another thing that might be holding us back because they are just like shredding our armor to pieces. 
Yeah, that's good, but then they come back and then they just kick our butts. Oh my goodness. It feels so bad. We can try that. Leave seal on, go for attribute reduction purify instead. That way we don't get those armor debuffs going on us and then we stay tanky. I don't know if us being sealed off is as detrimental as having less armor. At least on the Asmo. Maybe we could change that back on the Vulcan. Honestly, Vulcan, I'm tempted to just go back full out offensive and let Asmo be the tanky cleanup. This might be another one of those situations where I want to run like a fox pet. <laughs> mm, man. Okay, we'll do 10 more. We'll do 10 more and see how this goes. Uh, you though, I want to stick with control purify. 10 more, just 10 more, one more, I swear that's it. These are always our longest videos when we do sea land attempts because I love showing you guys every type of setup I try so that you guys can give feedback on which one you think worked the best, which again, if you did see something you think worked the best, leave a comment and let me know what lineup you thought was good. Yeah, that was not good up front there for Vulcan, my goodness. Vulcan got annihilated. Man, he's not getting good actives round one. And that's the thing. Round one actives Vulcan, they're rarely super amazing. And then he's not even lasting to round two. Yeah, that's not that's not a winning recipe right there. So that has to change back to, I guess, like fan. I, mean, fan, I still like fan with balance strike. Damage reduction, armor, crit. I mean, at this point, the armor is probably not doing much for us. We're, we're we're pretty much a paper mache <laughs> glass cannon kind of asmo is the tanky one here we need good round two actives coming out of both of them yeah, that's such a better active in round two. Oh, come on asmodel i need you to crush them as well get rid of that armor debuff perfect still procking though yeah i don't think that's working okay okay here's here's what we're gonna try Gonna try like one more thing. <laughs> uh, stick with crown. Go for attack. Go for control purify. Honestly, you know what I want to try? I want to just try all out offense on these heroes with crown though. Crit for damage. Uh. Yeah, we're even getting rid of the... Yep, yep, yep. We're going all out offense. Offense is usually the way that we win these. Round two actives are going to be the game winner here, I think. Just need to survive to it is the big issue. Luckily, Asmo will heal as everybody dies off. That's a really good active. That's another really good active. I just don't know if we have the longevity. No! Oh, it's just we don't have enough to finish... Once they revive, this is the tricky part right here. I guess we could try to get crit in the first round and let them get actives on us. I think Vulcan in the front row is probably a really bad decision. We can try it though. See what happens. <laughs> the only way that would work is if we got crit in the first round. I think we'd have to go to like a crown as well. And I don't think that's gonna happen. We could always try running like a Ruby Scepter or something crazy, right? And try to run like a CC oriented Vulcan. <laughs> it sounds weird, I know. But it technically could work. No, he just goes down. So he's gotta be back row. I wonder if a Ruby Vulcan would ever work. Not really, because we go second. Like, we would get more charges of our freeze. I don't know what I just did there, but that was really bad. Asmo just melted. I think it's because he doesn't have that armor node or the damage reduction node. And the actives are just abysmal to go up against. Yeah, that's... <laughs> 
that's not a winning combination at all. Um, man, the fact that I think they seal us when we have a death is probably the worst part about this. Let's if this looks good, we'll try it. If not, we're probably gonna have to wait and just invest more on our heroes to get ceiling 35 done. I feel like this being sealed off is probably limiting a lot of our damage output. Maybe Fox is better because the Fox would give us another full health bar there. Okay, five more. Five more, we're gonna test with a different monster. A lot of times in the older versions of the Sea Land, we actually had better results with the actual Fox because it would give more actives to Asmodel the full heal. Could be the same situation here. If it lines up perfectly, that is. <laughs> because it has to still line up good. Uh, so we get an active here, we heal up, and then we get more energy from the fox, and then we get hit a bunch to give us another active, right? Oh, we died, though. Um, let's try switching cores over to Asmodel's. This might give him better damage reduction as well because of all those re revenge stacks. That means they're going to deal less damage to our team. And, of course, he does more Small attacks. You can see the little chariot hits here after all those attacks happen. That might be the way. Oh, he even procs it on himself. I didn't know that. <sighs> man, oh man, oh man. I feel like this is like the tankiest we can really be. Give him a little bit more HP. Maybe he can make it work. Don't know. Maybe we need to go back to tanky Vulcan. Well, it's so weird looking at these little chariot hits. <laughs> we just need really big damage from Vulcan and Asmodel to come out. We got some healing here this time, which is kind of nice. Oh, we did get an active in the back row, but that's not horrible. We get energy feed here. We get two actives. This might be the way we win right here. Oh, is it enough? It's not. Uh oh, and they revive. That's not good. That's not good at all. Nope. Oh, so close. So close. We got two more attempts. We'll just see if it works. Honestly, once we get past this wave, I think the rest of 34 should be pretty simple overall, at least in comparison. It does look so weird seeing all these extra chariot hits. Good. I like how the damage reduction is letting heroes like our Andrea live a little bit longer. I wonder if giving armor to our Vulcan now would be the better play. Because, like, this Fox is working out right where we're getting more energy. Which is not working the way we need to. Let me check what he's got right now. He's just full offensive. So let's go back to damage reduction and armor. And see how that translates. Oh, so many attempts. I do this every time I jump to sea land. I want to, like, spend two hours doing it straight. And so many gems. All I know is this Asmodel has extremely surprised me. Which is why I want to get a giant killer copy before the prices went up on him. Oh, we get an active on both. Sweet. And we get a Fox active. Boom, energy. So there's a chance. Yes. No, it's so close. All right, one more. Just one more. One more. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, see, that's the difference, though, is our damage starts lacking on the Vulcan when we change him defensively. And I don't know if it gives him enough survivability. I guess we need to run him with Bounce Strike again to make this work. Okay, last change. I swear, last change, guys. I swear. I swear. Last change for five more. God. We're going on half an hour doing this guys. All right last one right here. Come on. We can do something good Do 
Ooh, that was not the best active by Vulcan damage wise. But it does keep him fully healed with Balanced Strike, which is going to give us a better chance, I think. Yeah, because he keeps full healing, which is really good for us. Because I feel like that was the biggest issue. We might get... Yeah, he might survive. Oh, he didn't get hit right there. That's so bad. Wait, we get another active. Yeah, Balanced Strike. What, what are you doing, Asmodel? You just dance all around the place. Hey, oh, it's so close. It was so close. Maybe we can run him slightly more offensive. A little extra damage might be the difference maker. I don't know. See, this is the round where I guess maybe running even Asmodel with Balance Strike would be good because his basic might full heal him. And that could be pretty big. Let's see what his basic can do. If his basic can full heal him, then it's definitely worth it. Andrea, you can heal yourself back up, but that's not going to make a difference. You're just going to get one tapped right here. Oh, two tapped, maybe. Yeah, his basic does heal for quite a bit. So that's kind of nice for us. Get energy. We might have another active on both of them this round, or at least the asthma, which is good. Because he'll full heal. Oh, he got crit pretty hard there, didn't he? Oh, I feel so bad. Are we ever not blocking? I don't think so. I think we're blocking everything on the Asmo. Trying to just watch. Block, block, block. Everything seems to be blocking. It's just maybe he gets crit or something one of these times. Double active is really good for us right here as well. Clean them out. No. Oh, wait. So one of them stays CC. That's really good. Oh, so close. <laughs> Last attempt for right now, and then we are going to call it. Man, it's so, so close. Probably help. It would help if we had like a super strong Andrea too. It's just, I just don't have the motivation to switch everything over, like get rid of our regular uh, Aspen for our tenant because that messes with Star Expedition and... Ah, oh, just so many disadvantages by doing those things. Oh, the asthma went down. No. That feels so bad. All right. Yeah, we're going to call for right now. 34 should be doable. Uh, and honestly, it's thanks to this guy right here. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what setups I should try next time. Definitely open to suggestions. See you guys next time.